the interests and in, that I take from my childhood is really the love of biology, the, the love of, of problem solving. It can be biology, it can be a project, it can be the interactions with two different people. And I've always liked to think about problems and take a step back and try to solve them. As you get older, you take more steps, step back, steps back, maybe because you're not as young, also, maybe because you're not as bright, maybe because you're not as impulsive, maybe because you've learned by mistakes that impulse doesn't always work. Uh, and so problem solving is one of the things that I think I carry uh, from my background. Trying to make a difference is very important. Another thing is I've always been bossy. And so as I as I've evolved from some a bossy older sister to trying to be a good manager to trying to be a good leader, it's sort of evolutions of those steps. And and trying to be a good leader is is leaving something behind, really helping people to excel. In the early days, it may have been my trying to be bossy to tell my little brother he had to either wash behind his ears or or do his homework in the back of my mind is because I thought that I was helping him out. As I've grown up, I've learned how to be bossy in a politically savvy way, right? And it's really about motivating somebody. If when I was 12, I could have said to him, think about what you could do. Maybe he wouldn't have listened. My little brother wouldn't have listened. But, but that's what I have to do on a daily basis is tell people to do something while always at the, at the same time making them feel that it was their idea. That is the important thing. Nobody wants to be told what to do. They want to feel like they came up with that idea or they were working together on it. And so I guess it's an evolution uh, from a bossy, uh, bossy older sister to trying to really help people to get to an important place.